All right, fellas, going to do something a little different here. You know, I figure I travel the country multiple times a week, you know, from California to New York, east to west, north to south. And I go to all these little gyms, you know, and I was uh, in a gym yesterday, a little hole in the wall that was pretty cool, and I didn't document it. Every week I'm finding little gyms that are pretty cool. I figure you guys might be interested. So I figured, what the hell, let's just, you know, start documenting these. That way I know I, I'm interested you know, if someone else did this about a gym in every, you know, freaking city of every state, then I would most certainly want to see it too. So we're going to kick things off here in, uh, I'm somewhere in New York. Where the hell am I? Uh, Rochester, I think Rochester, New York at this sick looking powerhouse, but even cooler than that powerhouse. I mean, powerhouse is cookie cutter. This is Samson's. I mean, look at that. That's like a freaking Conan the Barbarian cartoon right there. So we're going to check this out. Now, you know that it's a decent gym when you got black and white photos from the 60s, the 70s. You know, we're talking just the most obscure lifters. I mean, you're looking at the wall. you got a punching bag here from the 1920s that Muhammad Ali probably used. I mean, look at these things. you got rust and grime. You know, we're talking about freaking machines with like 25 pound standard plates right you got just she hulks all over the wall buff swall there's like a i don't even know what that just was you know there's like a, a makeshift monolift the first ever safety squat invented you know 150 pound dumbbell what is that bench look at the, that's the steepest decline i've ever seen i mean look at these this is like the what is this? You know what I mean? It's a vertical leg press with a barbell to load the weights on. You got the standard Arnold Franco Colombo wide pull-up bar. You got some of the oldest. I mean, we're talking the Nautilus right here. Look at these things. One of those created, you know, like chains, bike chains everywhere. You know, that's when it's solid, when there's bike chains on machines, right? That, I, that bike that just you saw, I don't even know when that bike was created. Here's a, a posing room. I mean, that's when you know a gym's legit. Look at just look at these bodybuilders here. Can you name a single one? No, that's when you know this is like the true mecca. This is something else. And then you got the cookie cutter stuff. You got the hammer strength because just that name value, I can attest to that. But I mean, look at these, look at these dumbbells. Like these were made, somebody just made these. Like they took them to like a, a welder's shop and just like laser cut that steel looks like. And then, look, I mean, come on, we got the Nautilus machines made out of plastic, right? But these things can survive, uh, I mean, what are we, who, who are these people? But so many, just so many pictures. And then back to the Nautilus machines, pretty much every single Nautilus machine ever created, right? And there's the classic pullover that everyone salivates over. Then you got more of the Nautilus with the chains. And then you got these cable machines here, you know, uh, free motion cable machines. Um, don't look at how skinny those benches are, right? Uh, look at how wide these dip panels. Look at these magazines. All right, that's when you know this is a real gym. Magazines, guys. Uh, the bike that you just saw, Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. Uh, these are sick machines. You got the the moving handles. I mean, that's something that's pretty uh, you know s sweet and pretty unique. Uh, don't even know what this is. This is like a. To me, it's like a weighted steering wheel. Like, let's check this out here. This reminds me of uh, when I was in high school. I drove a 1994 Ford Ranger, no power steering manual, like a real man, or a stick shift, no power steering. Now I'm throwing this in here because <clears throat> I'll give you guys a tidbit. Now that I've been going to a lot of these gyms, you know, when I lived at home, it's all free weights, barbells. But when I go to these gyms, I've realized that these the the fly is something special, but mainly because. You can crush the pectoralis, then you can mechanical drop set into an incline press, now I just dropped it into a decline. So you got the fly to the incline to the decline. And then another golden tidbit is, this is the shoulder machine I'm doing, but the way that you can do it, the angle here, is like peak stretch of the biceps. You can contract the tries on the very bottom, stretch, contract, load the biceps uh, at a different angle than you can with like free weights. So that's like two things that I actually kind of wish I would have. And I think those are, those are legit. And then after I got that juicy pump, I went back to the training or the uh, posing room here because I just had to see, I had to see what this lighting was all about. You know, there it is. That's the peacock right there. Peacock pose. 